Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintBallProps.com. This is project number 20, the final project for our multi-project electronic learning board. This is sending audio waves on a laser. So we've got two circuits here. We've got our transmitter circuit on the left, which is uh, quite simple, and our receiver on the right. Now this is not the most optimal way to do this circuit, but it, it is, uh, you can do it on the board. The output audio quality won't be great but you can uh, you can tune some things to get to to make it better but again there are other ways of doing this I will be putting a tutorial out there hopefully within the next month uh, showing a, a really really efficient way of doing this anyhow the transmitter will amplify an audio signal coming from our uh, audio amplifier or sorry our iPod or our mp3 player it will send that uh, that signal on a, on a light this is our laser to be received by a receiver. Let's go through it. This is our audio jack. There's two wires in our audio jack, uh, yellow and white. And white is uh, the ground wire, uh, so we can plug that onto the, the uh, one of the ground terminals on the power supply pin block. And our yellow pin we're going to connect to our A1 plus pin, which is the positive input of our first uh, non-inverting amplifier. Now we can adjust the essentially the signal out by twist by turning the gain one variable resistor on the board again we'll do this in a minute now plug your audio jack into your mp3 player and tune this to, and you'll actually see the output of the laser don't stare the laser in the eye but you can actually aim it at a table or something and you should see it kind of vary in light depending on the signal coming from you know whatever song you're playing here and how you've uh, adjusted your your gain on your operational amplifier. Anyhow, what you can do is so there, what you want to do is connect the A1 out pin on the main pin block to the red pin on or the red wire on your laser peripheral. The black wire on your laser peripheral can be connected to the ground line on the uh, power supply pin block. And now you've got your transmitter circuit. So you can adjust, you'll be adjusting your gain one resistor after we're done with our receiver. Now what you want to do with your receiver, uh, this circuit here, you have to select the LDR, this is the LDR, you have to select it by shorting the two LDR pins on the sensor pin block. Once you're done that, connect your AC pin on the main pin block to the A2 plus pin, which is this uh, input of the second, the positive input of the second non-inverting operational amplifier. Now what happens is is the the LDR senses changes in light coming from the laser, and that's uh, coupled across that 0.1 microfarad uh, ceramic capacitor, uh, which eliminates the DC component because this is a voltage divider. There's always a DC voltage here, and this is just going to isolate the audio signal. Uh, if you haven't been watching the tutorials, they are linked below. I suggest uh, watching Sensors Part One which is uh, tutorial number 11. Anyhow, um, this 10k ohm resistor is on the, a on the AC line circuit. It is just uh, there to bleed off any ambient uh, power. It's a bleeder resistor. So now we can take that, uh, the audio signal that we've received here, and we can amplify it with our uh, gain 2 variable resistor. And what we'll do is we'll then connect our A2 out pin to our act pin, our actuator, which is our transistor driver. Uh, and then what we can do is we can connect our speaker peripheral by connecting one side of our speaker peripheral to VCC, 5 volts, and the second side to one of the lower pins on the actuator pin block. I'm going to show that to you in a second. We're not going to have any shorts on our actuator pin block. We're not going to be selected in the relay or the motor uh, or the buzzer. We're going to leave that open and we're essentially going to connect to any one of these four bottom pins. Now, uh, those pins are connected internally, whereas the tops are connected to uh, the motor driver, the relay driver, and the buzzer driver. Anyhow, so any one of these lines is connected right here. So we have our speaker, one side of our speaker connected to VCC, our second connected to the collector of our emitter through the actuator pin block. And then what we should be able to do is we should be able to drive that, 
transistor to to drive our speaker. Now again, there are better ways of doing this. The audio sound quality will not be great at all. Um, but there are other videos on the internet that can show you how better circuits at how to do this. This is a limitation of the board. I will be coming up with a tutorial as well. So, after we're done all this, if we aim our laser at our LDR and we don't hear anything at the speaker, turn everything off because something's wrong. Um, so, what we'll do to essentially kind of tweak the sound quality is we will be tuning the gain one resistor to uh, up and down the the voltage going the signal voltage going to the laser and we'll be adjusting gain two to basically change the volume on the receiver speaker that's our volume uh, variable resistor anyhow let's plug this on the, on the board the transmitter circuit is very easy your audio peripheral connects into your uh, iPod or mp3 player it's got two wires Red and red and uh, sorry, white and yellow. White is ground, yellow is signal. These are just wire extensions, so you can plug into the board. So connect your white to the common ground line on the power supply pin block. Signal to A1 plus, the input of our first non-inverting operational amplifier. Secondly, we'll take our laser peripheral which has two wires, red and black, and two wire extensions. We'll connect our black to the power supply, uh, power supply ground and our red to the output of the amplifier. That is our transmitter. I'm going to turn off the light. We're going to play some music. <coughs> so it might be difficult for you to see, but the laser, the, the beam is not steady you can actually see it fluctuating. It's fluctuating because it's actually sending that that audio signal along it. So now, now that we've proven that our transmitter is working, what we're going to do now is we're going to connect our receiver. We've selected the LDR on the sensor main pin block by short, using a jumper to short the LDR pins in the middle. Uh, I'm going to take a jumper wire and I'm going to connect the AC pin. So that is the coupled AC output that will be re received and uh, sent across by our LDR. And we're going to put the, that signal to our A2, A2 plus pin, which is the input of our second non-inverting operational amplifier. From there, we'll take the A2 out pin, the output of the second audio amplifier, and we're going to connect it to the ACT line on the main sensor pin block, the actuator line. That is our transistor driver. So now all that's left to do is to connect the speaker. Now the speaker is just, again, two wires. It's, there's no polarity. So we'll connect one to the 5 volt line on the power supply pin block and the second to the any of the bottom three pins on the actuator pin block right here. Any of the bottom pins, not the top ones though. Now what I should be able to do is to we'll just try it out without tuning it so it's not tuned so this is the final product uh, I've got my iPod plugged in. Now the iPod can, can uh, is, has a stereo output, which means it's got left and right channels. We're only using one channel. I believe it's the left, so we're not going to be able to hear all of the different tracks of the song, especially in this case the drums. Now we're going to play Bob O'Reilly by the Who, Teenage Wasteland. If you don't know the song, it starts off with an instrumental. I've tuned my gain resistors uh, to the best of my ability. Again, the audio quality is not fantastic, but yeah, let's give it a try. I'm going to move the laser off of the uh, LDR occasionally just so you can see that I'm actually using the laser to uh, to do this. I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see the laser better. off.
off. So let's try another one. Let's try Romeo and Juliet by uh, The Dire Straits. Anyhow, so there you have it. Now I'm going to show you why this circuit isn't optimal. But and the reason I've designed this specific project was because I wanted to do it on the board, but the board has its limitations relative to the circuit. So uh, let's talk about what's wrong with it. And one of the reasons why the audio signal is so poor, in this case, for this specific circuit, is because the laser takes between 3 and 5 volts to operate. And we are at, our signal is between 0 and 5 volts. So as you can see, anything any anything at an amplitude less than 3 volts is not going to be transferred because the laser is only actually emitting light during these top spikes above 3 volts. So we're losing a ton a ton of uh of, of our audio signal. And that's what makes this circuit a little bit it leaves some, something to be desired. Anyhow, uh, I will make a tutorial on how to do a better circuit. I just need some time to get the manual finished for the learning board. Uh, for those of you who have stuck along the whole way, 20 videos, thanks a lot. Uh, I certainly hope that some of you uh, have, have uh, looked at our learning board online. Uh, I'll be taking it down for pre-order and putting it up for order because I've got about uh, 40 of them right now. And so, yeah. That's our electronics learning board, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have, check the tutorials below. If you uh, don't buy the learning board, just feel free to watch all 33 videos if you want to learn something. Take care and have a great day, everyone.